What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another review of Love & Hip Hop New York Season 9. Nope. Season 7, Episode 10, I think. Some shit, whatever. You don't fuck with the excess or whatever the fuck. We gonna get into it. So we have Drewski going to meet up with Jewel Santana. Jewel's got this little basketball tournament thing that he's doing with the kids and, you know, trying to get them something else to do other than, you know, hanging out on the street, getting in trouble and stuff like that. That's cool, okay? But Drewski want to come over there and talk to Jewel's about him setting up a hidden camera to see if Scott is snooping or going to fall for the bait of looking through his stuff and, you know, snooping in his phone and all this shit because he did ask her to move in and it's like these trust issues. And see, the issue that I have with Drewski dumbass for doing this stuff is the simple fact that he came to them and he was making it seem as if that girl had no reason to snoop on your ass, okay? After all the bullshit that you just pulled with this Bianca bullshit, you don't think that she don't have a reason to, um, you know, snoop around? First of all, let's get on Sky. You dumb as fuck for accepting the fact that you're gonna move in with this man. You don't trust him. That's clear as fuck. If you have to snoop through somebody's shit, you don't fucking trust him. Therefore, you shouldn't even be together with him. Second of all, Drew Ski use a dumbass okay you are very untrustworthy okay did you just delete everything in your memory about all this bullshit that you just pulled anyway he called her she was um you know looking through his shit okay fine whatever you know Joelle is trying to say that this is the shit that I had to do with with Aunt Kim Bella. you gotta talk to him you know women love to sit down and chat no, bitch, we just want you to hear us, okay, and understand where we're coming from and why we have these issues with you so we won't have to encounter them again, bitch. Okay, it's called fucking listen, all right? Moving on from that, um, who else was up there? Bitch, Rich and Peter Guns meet up at this car, you know, place or whatever. I can't, it, did the auto show come to Chicago yet? No, I think it's in Detroit. I can't wait till it comes to Chicago. Auto show be every fucking thing. But, um, anyway, moving on from that, um, basically Peter Guns trying to tell Rich the reason why he brought him there is to tell him that, you know, I sat down and had a conversation with Cisco. I need you to talk to him. You should think about talking to him. You know, all this stuff that's been going on with Cisco, we don't know about his mother passing away and all this shit. Rich whole thing is, I'm tired of sitting down with this motherfucker and he acting like he don't know what he's doing to us, okay? And here's my thing. The reason why y'all mad at each other is over a piece of ass that neither one of y'all wanted, okay? Cisco was fucking around with Diamond. Rich wound up fucking around with Diamond too, or at least trying to, or, you know, Diamond making it seem like it was, and neither one of you guys set y'all asses down and talk this shit out like grown adults so you won't get the wires and miscommunication crossed and let each other know exactly what the fuck was going on, okay? Then you want to throw Mariah Lynn up in the mix and y'all playing her ass, and then now you want to get pissed off because of that shit. He shoved you last year. He went at self this year. Bitch, he went at self and to, um, only to defend Cisco just a little bit in this self and him situation. Mariah Lynn did say that she didn't sign the contract. So at that point in time, if I heard that shit, you're fair fucking game at that time, okay? And I didn't know you was really dealing with stuff like that. So fuck all that shit. So he like, uh, it's a frog and a scorpion. You know, the frog always jumping across lily pads and lily pads. I'm a scorpion, and the scorpion stings the frog and kill him. I'm a motherfucking scorpion, okay? Peter was like, well, Cisco's a Capricorn. <laughs> And a Capricorn to go to jump on that ass and squash that motherfucking scorpion, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sitting here like, Rich, bye. Bye. Y'all too old for this shit. Okay? You need to take accountability. He trying to take accountability. Like, it's whatever. Then we get Erica and Samantha. They throwing a scene, a uh, birthday party. It's his fifth birthday. And we see little Mendici there. And it was so fucking cute. Probably the cutest shit that happened this whole season of Love and Hip Hop New York when Asim saw him in DC Junior and was like, Man, DC. No, he was like, DC. And then they just started hugging and all that stuff. I was like, oh my God, my ovaries. Don't do that shit because I don't want none. Like, it was just so cute. And at that moment in time, I really got pissed off because I'm like, do you see this shit right here? This is what y'all supposed to be fighting for. You know, all this bullshit that's going on. This is what, these are what is, um, people that's getting affected. 
okay? The kids. Y'all up here fighting about the kids not seeing each other, and then you're turning it from that to being about, oh, you're not married, or you trying to get with this person, or you this and you that. You know, it was just ridiculous, okay? And then Erica was like, I told Yandy what was up. But, of course, Yandy's not going to show up and bring the kids. But who shows up? Judy shows up. Judy came walking up in them heels like she, you know, her toes was like this, trying to balance in there so that they won't fall and shit. Walking like the tampon got pushed a little bit too far up in that bitch. So, Erica and Samantha was like, let's go outside and talk. And was like, why didn't Yandy bring, you know, um, a scene's brother and sister? And it was like, well, Yandy didn't know, so therefore, how can she bring them? Erica was like, yes, she did know. And this is what I'm trying to tell you, that this girl is starting some shit. And I said, well, Erica, you doing the same damn thing, okay? Maybe she's reacting off of the shit that she just found out, all right? See, look, I understand. I see that Yandy on some bullshit. No, I never fucking defend Yandy because I just don't like her when she be overstepping and doing all this fuck shit, too. But y'all ain't making yourselves look bad, okay? This why people can't stand y'all. But like Samantha said, Yandy needs to quit acting like she ain't like the rest of us, a fucking baby mama, okay, and I said, that's true, that's true, you know, all three of y'all baby mamas, and it is what it is, but y'all need to stop this bullshit, and like Judy said, are you trying, did you know that he was married, they not even married, Judy was caught off guard, you can not tell me no difference, she probably knew, but it seemed like she was caught off guard, but in the thing, she was like, you know, it don't matter if they married or not, because in my eyes, I know um, Yankee and Mendeecee love each other, so therefore, they are married, but to the government, boo-boo, they're not, so, Anyway, and I'm just sitting here like when me, uh, Judy was like, you trying to be married? Hell no. Then what the fuck is the problem? And I was like, yeah, what the fuck is the problem, bitch? Okay, what is the problem? You know, and this is why I can't really go up for Yandy, Samantha, nor Erica, okay? Because they're all on bullshit. All of them. You know what, Cisco? See, this is why we can't even, even when Rich do you wrong and you do him wrong and vice versa, we can't even be 100% on your fucking side. Hell, we can't even be 3% on your side because you go back and you do some fuck shit, okay? You act like a bitch. Listen, go look at Mr. Um, the Scotty video, Mr. Still Standing. Uh, one of his reviews when he was talking about Cisco, man, as much as he called him a bitch, I was dying laughing. He must have called him a bitch at least 15 times in one fucking sentence, bitch. It was hilarious. But Lyra Galore, wrong fucking person, Major Galore is in a church of all places desecrating the stage, okay? You know, we've been, the church been in the news a lot lately, and this thought spirit and twerk spirit was on Lyra Galore, I mean, not Lyra Galore, but um, Major Galore, she was up there. At first, I was like, what type of song is this? Um, and we about to praise Jesus? Well, then all of a sudden, I see the dancers, and they swingling, and I seen a booty pop, and I said, no, I feel a little way about this, okay? Blasphemy? Um... And she's talking about how, you know, Self got them doing this, uh, you know, competing for this spot. So she's trying to get her shit together. And so who's she going to call? She's going to call somebody that she know and that's been in the music business and that's a good friend of hers. Bitch who comes out the shadow like the devil himself. Motherfucking Cisco. I said, God damn. God damn, Cisco. We on a whole nother petty ass tip. Okay? I don't give a fuck about DJ Self either. But damn, you stooping so low. Okay? You stooping so fuck. You finna run through his whole fucking roster. He said, fuck Mariah Lynn at this point. Fuck that bitch because she didn't take up for me. That's where he coming from. I said, damn. Damn, did he go through the change or some shit? Because I'm confused. Nigga, are you tucking? I'm seriously like, I know niggas that's let me stop let me stop like it's just it's just i just don't understand what's going on here you go major i knew that um cisco saying he knew her for a long time before she got with self and all this stuff and she you know kind of got a thing for him and they talking and she telling him she with self and all this stuff and they flirting and then next thing you know they go into this whole thing about Mariah Lynn okay so like I said Cisco said fuck that bitch all right this bitch went and showed her, her ass and went to um sell after I didn't put food in her fucking refrigerator when she was calling me because she ain't had no money or nowhere to fucking stay I said you's a petty bitch petty bald-headed 
bitch. I'm just sitting like, wow. And you ain't even going after a nigga like this. You going after a female like this. Like, I'm just so confused. Like, do you really think that that gives you street cred? Do you really think that gives you some cool points? No, it does not. It does not. And it just shows me that, you know, Cisco has a very, very low standard of women that he go after. He go after these weak bitches that's up and coming or trying to get on or whatever so he can manipulate them. And that's exactly what the fuck he doing. Moving on from that, Jay Adrian, why are you still in New York? Where is your son? Why aren't you at home? Do you know what your child is doing right now? Okay, it's 733. Do you know what your child is doing? You probably don't. You probably don't, okay? You probably fucking don't, all right? And I'm just irked. You up here trying to salvage a relationship with Snoop and that bitch don't want you. Snoop must get the bomb strap, okay? Her strap game must be on honey, my nigga, okay? I'm just sitting here like, you got this bitch going crazy over some strap and some tongue. That's what you got her going. Bitch, is you fingering her and tonguing her at the same time? Like, something is going on that I need to understand because ain't no way in here I'm going to stay out in another city, in another state, with my 13-year-old son, who is in the prime age of being influenced and need both his parents in his life at this current moment over a bitch that clearly don't fucking want me because I don't want to drive the opportunities that I thought I was going to get from this bitch because Snoop said, this shy, we can't do this shit no more. You know, you getting high-headed and all this stuff. I don't know. It's just you. And it just makes me so, ugh. Well, it goes to show that I guess this relationship between me and Snoop is done. It's over and it's run its course. Bitch, it been ran its course when you started. Okay? Move on. Judy go me so with Yandy. Okay? Mind you. Remember when I said that Erica said that Yandy knew about, you know, a SEMA party. A SEMA party. A scene's party. Yandy said, What? I didn't know. Oh, my God. Why would she do this? And I said, well, damn. Okay. Who telling the truth, God damn it? You know, at this point in time, Erica, it do look like you got a whole bunch of shit going on. You know, like you really, really invested in this shit. So that's why you look like the most bitterest of the bitterest of the bitterest of the baby mamas right about now. You really do. And you're not making yourself look good at all. But Judy is telling them what's going on and, you know, um, telling her that they trying to tell her about how... Um, in D.C. and Yandy ain't married. Yandy like, how they find that out? I mean, to be quite honest, it's public records. You can look that shit up, you know, marriage license and all that stuff. But, you know, it's the truth. But come to find out, Judy knew because Mendeecy called her and told her what was up. That was something off of um, Yandy back so she didn't have to, um, you know, tell her that shit. Um, so she let Mendeecy do her dirty work. I mean, that's his mama, so I guess. Um, she and her feelings... And she was like, so I meet up with uh, Samantha's best friend and she up here talking about somehow Erica and them trying to make me look like I was cheating on um and DC with a whole bunch of niggas trying to cheat. He cheating on me with a whole bunch of bitches. And you can hear um, Samantha talking about some, you know, just keep the kids out of it and all this shit so we can make her look crazy and, and let it hit the blogs. And I got 30 recordings and all this shit. Bitch, this is fucked up. I'm so tired of all of this shit. It's it's, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. So, you know, Self is at his little event. We about to go head up. It's like the female version of Chris Brown versus um 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 Soldier Boy. But except there is absolutely no talent in the bunch, okay? At least with Chris Brown, we got some Soldier Boy. Did y'all hear that whack ass this song that he put out against him? <sighs> I mean, the wackest shit ever. But anyway, so Major Galore gets up there. She attempts to do her stuff. She fucks up at the beginning, had to restart. And I was sitting here like, so you use the church as your rehearsal hall? Oh my goodness. I'm still stuck on that. Like, you use the church as your research, you know, your, to rehearse in. Like, you couldn't do that in your apartment. You couldn't do that. You couldn't find, yourself can't get you no studio or some shit. Like, you couldn't go to somebody high school or whatever. You had to use a church of all places. Was the church free? Like, I'm confused. What was going on there? Then Mariah Lynn gets up there. And I don't know what she thought she was doing, but I wasn't feeling either one of them, okay? But if I had to choose, I probably would have chose my um uh, major good lord, okay? Because I can actually, you know, groove or whatever to her. Mariah Lynn's shit's still all the same, all right? And, like, she's trying to copy the trend that's hot right now. You know, I don't fuck with shit like that, okay? Been there, done that. Can we get something different, okay? Be original. 
So Rich is there. Self asks Rich, what's going on? What's his opinion? He said, Major Galore has the best song, but a terrible performance. Mariah Lynn had a terrible song, but the best performance. She was performing like she'd been there before. So when they sit down, this is what he tells Mariah Lynn. Mariah Lynn, that wasn't even nothing to be upset about. But because you're so clouded by this so-called beef that you have with him, you couldn't even take that account that that you couldn't take that criticism. Like he was literally giving you constructive criticism. Okay, he wasn't being mean about it either. So you get up in there and you're just talking shit in your confessionals. I don't have to take nothing from this bitch and this this bitch. When she said this twelve dollar turtleneck wearing ass bitch on the stage when she was talking shit about Major Galore when she fucked up when she was in her confessional, I said, Mariah, you didn't have to read that girl like that. You really didn't. But then you know. Um, Mar Rich told him what she think thought about Major Galore. Next thing you know, I don't even remember how it popped off, but them two get into it. They going back and forth because Mariah did say, you know, well, I'm the better artist. You know, I was at her spot, you know, where she was last year. Maybe she needs a little bit more rehearsal time to get where I am on the level that I am. I said, girl, you ain't nowhere, bitch, because you ain't on nobody's BET stage. You ain't on nobody's BET pre-show stage. You ain't on nobody's VH1 stage, MTV the damn show that's the only thing that you can get soul train don't even want your ass okay so let's stop playing all right and then they started going back and forth and next thing you know major galore was like she was like you was up there trying to twerk and when nobody it didn't work okay she was like bitch let me throw something at you and you know she was like bitch you broke you broke she was like you've been doing this you can't write you can't sing you can't this i've been writing poetry since i was four and i put them in my rap bitch but you still broke okay what you talking about I ain't never Bro, bitch, motherfuckers had to take your ass out the gutter and put food up in your motherfucking house. Who told you this? Cisco. Peter was like, ain't this about a bitch? You know, I just talked to this motherfucker and now his name is being brought up in the midst of this shit all over again. I'm not going to pull in, but let me just sit here and enjoy the ride and watch this shit. I said I would have did the same thing. Let me shut the fuck up and just watch, okay? Then, um, next thing you know. They about to, she was like, what you going to do? So keep my name out your mouth. Keep saying something and all this stuff. Oh, I'm going to whoop your ass. Major Glory said, okay, bitch, you ain't going to tell me what to do, so what's up? Next thing you know, they try to go at each other. Of course, security's there. Of course, they ain't going to do nothing. They get pulled apart. Self is like, come on now, y'all. Let's act like ladies. I said, ain't no ladies there, bitch. Okay? Ain't no ladies there, bitch. All right? So next thing you know, they tried to go at each other again. It was like, bitch, let me throw you some singles. Here, let me throw some singles at you. Some singles, my nigga. How you going to throw some singles when your ass can't even afford fucking groceries? I did laugh at that part, okay? Major Galore was giving me all the Kiki Wyatt tease when she got mad. Her face transformed into Kiki Wyatt and them faces that she be making. The shit was hilarious to me. I said, this is tired. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Drewski, he up in the house on the computer. Drewski is the dumbest, okay? All these niggas on here are dumb, all right? But he has got to be one of the dumbest because Scott comes in and was like, you want to tell me what's going on? And was like, what you been doing? I've been here all day. So you not been posting stuff on um social media? And I said, this motherfucker posted the video that he showed Jewels on social media. And his thing was, listen to this logic. I just wanted you to see how crazy you look. We about to be moving in together. And I just wanted you to see how crazy you look. And I'm sitting here like, so your relationship is fucked up. You trying to see, can you get this girl to trust you? So your solution to this is to film her going through your shit. That's one. Okay, fine. But then you post it on social media so the whole world can see. And you think that she's going to be okay and doesn't have a right to or a reason or wouldn't have a reason to come in and come at you the way that she did. No, you dumb ass. That's not what you do. Like, you don't post all that shit on the fucking, on the, you come to her with it. You come to her. And then she walks the fuck out. Do you trust me? Hell no, nigga, I don't trust you. Fuck out of here. So then after that, Rich and Cisco finally have a meetup. Rich is playing basketball coincidentally by himself. Cisco is standing out there trying to look like the godfather or somebody goon or whatever. Fat Joe, little brother, some shit. And 
you know, he was like, what can I do to make this right? You got an issue with me? Hell yeah, nigga, I got an issue with you. And was like, I be doing this stuff and we talk and we get into it. We make up. I'm tired of making up. Okay. It's like every time you doing this and you doing this and you going at your brothers and all this shit. I'm tired, Cisco. Okay. I know what's going on with you. I want to make that shit right. You my brother, but you keep drowning me, Cisco. I don't want to fucking drown no more. Right. You my brother. You my best friend. I'm trying to be there for you, but you won't let me. He was like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I said. Now that was that was cute. But at the same time, I'm sitting here like Cisco hugging all on him. Rich trying to keep it. Rich Rich was like, fuck this shit. I forgot I'm on camera. Now nah, I can't be doing this. Fuck off me and walked off. I said, Y'all gotta stop playing with me. Stop it. So DJ Self, Mariah Lynn, Major Galore, they meet up. He wants them to apologize. Why y'all get into it like that? That bitch threw a water on me. So Major, um, Mariah Lynn pulls out a bottle of water, throws it on Major Galore. And then eventually they make up. And then, because Self was like, I want y'all to apologize. I can't have y'all doing this. It's looking bad on my brand. And then how did Cisco get involved? Well, Cisco told me this. And then Cisco told me that. Well, see, I thought Cisco, no, I thought Briscoe was cool. But this motherfucker was just using me. Duh, Major, duh. He don't fuck with Self, so therefore he don't care so now self is like we gonna come together and we gonna get his ass and i'm like okay whatever samantha is in the car let me tell you something mona scott may be a lot of things but she not really cheap okay because mona scott she goes all out for her cast she will not put them in an uber x okay she will not put them in uber pool she will put them in an uber xl black all right all the fucking time i said all right mona you know samantha gets a call from um Men DC, she said, bitch, this is the first time since this motherfucker went to jail that I didn't heard something from him. So maybe he finna talk to me about little Men DC. No, he calling her about the shit that's been going on between, you know, Yandy, Erica, and them. How come you and Erica doing all this shit to Yandy? You know, when I was together with you, I cheated on you with Erica and all this shit. Now y'all going around acting like y'all sister wives and stuff. Samantha was like, bitch, I can't believe a word that you say. I mean, you cheated on all of us, so who gives a shit? And she kept trying to divert the, the, com um, the conversation to what it should have been about. Little man, DC. But let me tell you something, Samantha. You can't really get all up in your feelings because you did play a part in this bullshit. All right? Whether you intentionally did it or you knew that this was going to happen, you played a part in it. When you agreed to do this shit and was plotting and scheming, both of y'all plotting and screaming, all of y'all plotting and scheming, okay? On Yandy. Yandy on you and all this shit you know y'all doing the same thing to each other and then you have to know to say this feel like a setup girl so yandy decides to take it upon herself and judy you know to pop up there on erica to confront her about the tapes oh you trying to set me up you saying that you you know you brainwashing um samantha to come onto your side you trying to say that you're gonna keep little men dc's in the scene from me and she was like erica was like first of all i can't keep little men dc from anybody because that ain't my child and that's what yandy needs to understand bitch <laughs> you are responsible for two kids okay but um the whole thing was stupid she was like bitch but let me tell you something um, if I had something to say about you, I said, and the person would know already. Because they were telling her that, that we heard the tape. We heard the tape. It's authentic. We heard the tape and all this stuff. Okay, and Samantha be up here. Samantha roll up in there and was like, so you was up on, um, you recorded, um, Erica. Yeah, and? And Erica was like, okay, so what? We moved on from that shit. And Eri um, Samantha said, bitch, I recorded you too, Judy. She was like, hell yeah, I'm recording all you bitches. And with all this bullshit going on, I'm not even fucking mad that she recorded them. But... Once again, what does this prove? Because at one point, you know, Sam called Yandy a bitch, okay? And that's what got Yandy amped and hyped because she called her a bitch. Oh, you called me a bitch? You damn right I called you a motherfucking bitch. I said, go ahead, Sam. Um, But, you know, she, she was like, this bitch had the nerve to call me a bitch. I said, truth be told, all of y'all bitches, okay? Because that's exactly how y'all acting, all right? So, you know, chill the fuck out. And then when Samantha was like this, Yandy tried to grab that hair, and it was about to be on. I said, Yandy, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm toss that up to being a reflex, okay? Because you ain't about that life. 
I don't feel like you about that life because Sam said, bitch, try it again. Let me tell you something. You was this close away from getting your ass to motherfucking business. They still, you know, they was talking about some, oh, but you was trying to take my money. She was like, bitch, I didn't take your money. I took me DC money that he still owed me for child support and shit like that. I said, she was like, but you ain't pay it back. Bitch, did you ask for it back? Hell the fuck no. Tell your nigga to pay it back. That's what I would have said because that's money owed to me. All right. But y'all, this is trifling. <laughs> I will see y'all later. <laughs> they got to stop this bullshit. It's for the kids. Stop it. For the kids, as Yandy say. Do it for the kids. <laughs>